From the intricate dance of celestial objects to the complex workings of the human mind, the universe presents endless mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Today, we journey into the fascinating world of behavioral psychology, a realm pioneered by the brilliant B.F. Skinner. Like an astronomer charting distant galaxies, Skinner mapped the constellations of our behavior, revealing the powerful forces that shape our actions and reactions. Join us as we delve into the core principles of Skinner's operant conditioning, a theory that unlocks the secrets of learning and behavior modification. At the heart of operant conditioning lies a fundamental question. How do we learn? What drives us to repeat certain actions and avoid others? Skinner proposed that learning is primarily driven by the consequences of our behavior. Imagine a child touching a hot stove for the first time. The painful consequence, the burn, teaches the child to avoid repeating that action. This powerful connection between behavior and its consequences forms the bedrock of operant conditioning. Unlike classical conditioning, which focuses on reflexive responses to stimuli, operant conditioning explores voluntary actions shaped by their outcomes. It's about understanding how we learn to operate on our environment to achieve desired results. Whether it's a pigeon learning to peck a lever for food or a student studying diligently to earn good grades, operant conditioning reveals the invisible hand shaping our choices. Central to Skinner's theory is the concept of reinforcement, the process of strengthening a behavior through its consequences. Positive reinforcement, a cornerstone of this theory, involves adding a desirable stimulus after a behavior occurs, making it more likely to be repeated. Think of it as a reward system. You perform an action and something positive follows. This could be anything from a child receiving a piece of candy for cleaning their room to a scientist experiencing the thrill of a groundbreaking discovery after years of research. Positive reinforcement is a powerful tool for shaping behavior, fostering learning and promoting desired outcomes. It's the driving force behind countless aspects of our lives, from education and parenting to workplace motivation and personal development. By understanding the principles of positive reinforcement, we unlock the ability to influence behavior in positive and constructive ways. Chapter 3. Schedules of Reinforcement Skinner's research went beyond identifying types of reinforcement to explore how the timing and frequency of rewards impact behavior. He introduced the concept of reinforcement schedules, outlining different patterns of delivering rewards to influence response rates and extinction rates. One such schedule is the fixed ratio schedule, where a reward is given after a fixed number of responses. Imagine a factory worker being paid for every 10 items produced. This consistent ratio between effort and reward leads to a high rate of response, but can also lead to faster extinction if the reward is suddenly stopped. Understanding these schedules provides valuable insights into maintaining desired behaviors over time. Chapter 4, The Impact of Punishment While reinforcement focuses on increasing desired behaviors, Skinner also explored the role of punishment in decreasing undesirable ones. Punishment, in operant conditioning, involves introducing an aversive consequence after a behavior to make it less likely to occur again. This could be anything from a child receiving a timeout for misbehaving to a driver receiving a speeding ticket. However, Skinner cautioned against the overuse of punishment, highlighting its potential negative side effects. Unlike reinforcement, which clearly communicates desired behaviors, punishment only indicates what not to do, leaving room for confusion and potentially fostering fear and avoidance. Chapter 5, Beyond Basic Rewards. Skinner recognized that not all reinforcers are created equal. He distinguished between primary reinforcers, which have inherent biological value like food and water, and secondary reinforcers, which acquire their reinforcing properties through association with primary reinforcers. Money, for example, is a secondary reinforcer. It holds no inherent value, but becomes highly desirable due to its association with the ability to acquire basic needs and other rewards. 
This distinction highlights the complex interplay between our biological drives and learned associations in shaping our behavior. Understanding these nuances allows us to design more effective interventions and create environments conducive to learning and growth. Outro, the enduring legacy of Skinner. As we conclude our exploration of Skinner's operant conditioning, we're reminded of the profound impact his work has had on our understanding of human behavior. From classrooms to therapy sessions, Skinner's principles are applied across various fields to promote learning, modify behavior, and improve lives. Like the laws of physics governing the cosmos, the principles of operant conditioning offer a glimpse into the elegant mechanisms shaping our actions. By grasping these concepts, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the forces that influence our choices. We unlock the potential to create environments that foster positive behaviors, encourage growth, and ultimately shape a better future for ourselves and generations to come.